Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Mel and you can tell by the title in the thumbnail today is TBR day. I'm very excited. This is a super exciting May TBR. It's not going to be your normal TBR bluff. We've got two different readathons to talk about and we cleaned the board last month, but we didn't just clean the board. We got a brand new board. I'm so excited and proud of this board. Um, I did decide to make it a little bit more snazzy since we had been doing TBR Bluff for a while and move some things around. I went down to a six by six instead of a seven by seven. Um, I shifted around some prompts that I wasn't absolutely loving and gave myself some new stuff. We're also color coded now, so it's gonna be a whole lot easier to see the dye. I'm so excited to use this board this month. It's going to be so much fun. Um, there are gonna be a couple of rule changes. We will be continuing with the five in a row clears the board. We will also be continuing with when I can't find a prompt, I have to use the spinner wheel of doom. Um, and I was informed by Cassidy, who actually plays dice poker, that I do not have to actually do all three rolls. If I decide on the first roll that I like what I get, then I can stop there. If I want to cause chaos and try to get a specific prompt, I can keep rolling for up to three times. I think this is going to make it a lot more fun, a lot more chaotic, because I'm going to be, I'm going to be rolling the die. I'm going to be risking it sometimes because I may have a prompt, and then if I decide to re-roll, that prompt may not still be there anymore. So I think this is going to be a lot of fun. I did not finish my TBR last month. I'll just be completely honest with you guys. So I will be doing six rolls this month. We're going to stick with the normal five plus six. Yeah, I think that's all of the board housekeeping. I will give you guys a much better view of it here in just a minute. I don't really need to go through a bunch of prompts because I didn't really add anything new. I just took some off and shifted where things were. So pretty much all of the prompts are the same. Um, I did give us a free space. I did take off like one of the Lucky 11s, that kind of thing, but not a whole lot else has changed on that one. I also need to tell you guys about the readathons that I'm going to be doing this month. The first is Escape the Readathon, hosted by Books with Lexi. This is a readathon where I am co hosting Team Ghost, and we are going to be trying to escape the haunted house by reading books. This is a readathon that's really cool. You don't have to read horror or thriller. You can read whatever you want. And the ghost tour is the best tour because we have all the insider knowledge on how to get out of this place and the ghost background. So you definitely want to join Team Ghost. I will link the announcement video down below to all of Lexi's information and how to sign up. It's going to be so much fun. And then we're also doing a smut den at the end of the month on Memorial Day weekend with Cassidy, Rye, and then, and then Brie from Four Paws in a Book and Michelle from Michelle's Library. I'm so excited for this month. I will be doing um, Escape the Readathon in this TBR. I'm going to try to put on some horrors and thrillers, even though you don't have to read those. I just think it's going to be fun. And I'm also going to do, of course, fantasy. Um, I'm not going to make an official like smut den in this TBR because I'm going to be doing that separate later in the month and we're going to kind of fly by the seat of our pants a little bit on that one instead of a structured TBR. I do have two required reads for this month. The first of which is the third book in the Wheel of Time series, The Dragon Reborn. I'm a co-host of the Wheel of Time Along created by Sandra from Got a Thing for Things with Cassidy and Becca and I had read the first two books already so I'm going to be starting anew with them in The Dragon Reborn. I'm slightly scared, but we're going to do it. It's going to be great. And then I also need to read an incarnation of Shadow and Light. This is the Indie Archive pick for this month. The Indie Archive is a book club for mine and Cassidy's um, top two tier Patreons now because both of us have opened a new tier with bookmarks and stickers and all of that fun stuff. But it's actually now the top two tiers get access to the Indie Archive. So we will be reading an incarnation of Shadow and Light. I don't know a ton about this. I know that it is YA. I know that it is standalone. I know that I'm scared of it, but I also know I'm excited to read it. So I think that that's enough housekeeping stuff. I feel like I've been talking for forever. So let's just move the camera and look at the new board. All right, guys, so this is the new board. I am so excited about it. Like I said, not a whole heck of a lot has changed. Most of the prompts are still the same. But we just move things around a little bit. We are now color coded on the die. So each die has its own color. Hopefully that'll make it a little bit easier to see. Um, we now have a free space, which is going to be really, really nice. I took off the lucky 11. But for the most part, everything has stayed the same. So I guess let's just get into the first roll. Okay guys, so remember we are now able to stop at roll one, roll two, or roll three, which is going to cause a little bit of chaos. So let's do TBR bluff roll number one and see what we get. 
Okay, so we have two threes, a five, a five, and a one. So two threes and a five. Fives are going to be purple. Threes are going to be yellow. So we're looking for purple and yellow. Looks like that is chapter titles. Um, I quite like chapter titles. You know what? Honestly, I'm a fan of chapter titles. So I think that we may just stop at the first roll. Who are we? What are we doing? We got our first prompt on the first roll and it's going to be chapter titles. So for our first prompt, we got two fives and two threes, and that was for a book with chapter titles. So I did get lucky and I was able to put on The Dragon Reborn by Robert Jordan. This one does have chapter titles. The first chapter is called Waiting. So all of these do have chapter titles. I really needed to get this on, so I'm glad that I was able to do that with the first roll. This is the third book in the Wheel of Time series. Surely you guys know what the Wheel of Time series is already. How do I explain the Wheel of Time? There is a war going on. There is a dragon that is going to save the world and he is being reborn. There are a group of kids that are trying to figure out where they fit into all of this. And there are also the Aes Sedai, Eye, which are magical women and men can't have magic in this world because otherwise it would make them crazy. That's a terrible description but that's as good as I'm gonna get. So this is the third book in that series. If you have read The Wheel of Time and you just want to catch up on the live shows, the first one was on Sandra's channel, linked down below, and the second one was on Cassidy's channel. I'm not sure if it's going to be me or Becca next, but the live show will be at the end of May, beginning of June. Okay, so now roll number two. A four, a one, a six, a four, and a two. So we could do two fours, which is a friend pick, Am I really going to stop at one roll for all of these prompts? But I do want a friend pick, but I don't think anyone's awake. So we're going to see, we're going to gamble and see what we get if we keep the two fours and roll again. I'm going to regret this, aren't I? Okay, so we got another four, a one, and a two, and three fours is going to give us first person. A lot of horror books are first person. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna roll again and we're gonna keep that four and re-roll the two and the one and we're just gonna, we're gonna do it and I'm gonna go regret it. But we're choosing chaos. A five and a five. Well, crap. That's my favorite prompt, you guys. That is full house. Okay, well, I guess we're going with full house because we're out of rolls and that's what we get. So for the next book, we got A Full House, and I try to avoid that prompt. I try to avoid it so much, but on the last one, it was Food Inspo, and that scared me, even though it was super, super easy. On this one, it's now Next in the Rainbow, and since Dragon Reborn was green, that means Roy G. Biv, we need to find a blue book. And I have a surprisingly lot of blue books, so I ended up going with two different choices. One I should read one I want to read. They are polar opposites. The first one is Before They Were Hanged by Joe Abercrombie. This is the second in the First Law trilogy. It is the backlist, no, the Ketchup Book Club's book club pick, and I was supposed to read it in April and just did not have the time. So I could read this one in May so that I'm staying like semi caught up on the book club. This is hosted by Becca for Becca and the Books. I don't really know how to explain First Law to you other than it is a not a classic fantasy in the sense of like adventure Tolkien class kind of classic fantasy, but classic in that it's one of the older ones that I feel like is shaping some of our current fantasy. It is quite slow. It is quite character driven. It's grimdark, quote unquote. I didn't find the first one that dark, but technically it's supposed to be grimdark. So I do want to continue in the series and I kind of need a push to do that. And then the other option that I have is one that I do want to read, and that is The Haunting of Lee Harker by Darcy Coates. This is one of the few Darcy Coates that I have not read yet, and I've heard it's super creepy. Um, it says, Sometimes the dead reach back. It's about Lee Harker, who's living in a suburban home, and things are starting to happen by themselves. Radios are turning on and off. Curtains are opening and closing on their own. She's pushed to her limits, but she's not able to give up her home, and she's trying to find answers. But when a poisonous shadow seeps from the locked door beneath the stairs, the handle rattles through the night and fingernails scratch at the wood. Her home harbors dangerous secrets and now that Lee is trapped within its walls, she feels she may never escape. Do you think you're safe? You're wrong. Ah, it sounds so creepy. I've heard very good things about this one. So super excited to get to it. So one of my two blue books will either be Lee Harker or Before They Were Hanged.
Okay, so TBR Bluff, a roll number three. Ah. A one, a four, a two, a three, and a four. So we got the two fours again. We could stop and do friend pick and see if anyone's awake. Or we could keep going. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. Two ones and a six. So we're looking for orange and pink, and that is going to be a non-Western setting. I do love that prompt, but I'm not 100% sure if I have anything currently on my TBR that's not like high fantasy because I feel like that's cheating. So we're going to go for chaos, and we're going to roll again and keep the two ones this time, I think. A three, a two, a one, a one, and a six. So we're going to have to honestly go for two ones. No, no, crap. So honest, I could go for two ones, which is out of my comfort zone, or I could go for free space and do author I've never read. But do I really want to do that this early? No, no, we're going to do out of my comfort zone and we're going to suck it up because we rolled the dice and we gambled and we got what we got. Then for the next prompt, we got two ones, and that ended up being out of my comfort zone. For this one, I think I'm going to go with a mystery, and that is the second Finley Donovan. If Finley Donovan knocks him dead, I'm not a big mystery reader. It's not something that I gravitate toward, but it is something that I do want to try to read more of in the future. It's not something that I know my taste in. I don't know if I like cozy mysteries. I don't know if I like detective mysteries. I haven't figured that out yet, so I feel like this is going to be as close to out of my comfort zone as I'm willing to get. I'm not going to read a bunch of nonfiction. I'm not going to read a bunch of historical fiction. I could choose a romance, so also could insert like a Sophie Lark here because I don't read a lot of romance anymore. Um, but I think for the official TBR, I'm going to do Finley Donovan. This is the second book in the series, and the first one is following Finley, who is down on her luck, and she is meeting with someone in a coffee shop talking about how to get things turned around, but the conversation gets misconstrued by a listening party, and she is taken as a hit woman and given a job to kill someone. Um, she makes a mess out of things. Things go a little bit awry, a little bit crazy. Very, very quirky and wonky, and it was fun. I wouldn't say that I loved it as much as a lot of people did. It was a lower four star for me, but I had a good time with it, and I'm curious to see how the series continues. All right, so TBR Bluff at roll number four. A one, a one, a six, a two, and a three. Um, well, we can't use the two ones because we've already used that, so we're going to keep these out and roll again. A four, a three, and a five. Also not at all helpful. Do we keep the two ones and just roll those threes or do we re-roll the whole hand? I think we keep the two ones and just re-roll these three. Whoop. Okay, so we got three ones, a four, and a two. And three ones is going to get us blurbed. Um, okay, I can work with that. Uh-uh, get off of that. Get off, get off, get off, get off, 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 off. Thank you. So for roll number three, we got three ones, and that was blurbs. I think I'm going to do something I might regret here, um, and I'm going to go with The Girl from Raw Blood by Katriana Ward. This one is blurbed by Simone St. James, who I have quite liked in the past. I didn't love her latest book, but I did really like Sundown Motel, so I think I can count it for this prompt. This is one of the earlier works from Katriana Ward. I loved Needless Street. Sundial was just okay. Um, I've not heard great things about Little Eve, but I've really not heard anyone read The Girl from Raw Blood, and so I'm curious about it. I don't really know a whole heck of a lot about it. I know it's set in England at the turn of the century, um, so I guess it is Victorian, which I did not know. But anyway, I'm going to regret this. The last part of it says, From the sun-dappled hills of Italy to the biting chill of Victorian dissection halls, The Girl from Raw Blood is a lyrical and haunting gothic novel of darkness. I'm going to regret this, but we're doing it anyway. Um, it says, A curse, generations of loss, and the girl poised to bring an end to it all. I'm hopeful. I do want to go through Katrina Ward's backlist. At some point, if I end up really not liking this one, I could switch this possibly to Looking Glass Sound, which is the newer one that I do have, but I don't know if it's been blurred by anybody because I don't have the cover. So anyway, um, I may regret this, but this is what we're going with for now. All right, TBR Bluff, roll number five. 
which would have been the last roll, but I didn't finish my TBR last month. A one, a five, a one, a one, and a three. Oh my gosh, these ones. I think I'm re-rolling that whole hand and I'm just going to choose complete and utter chaos because I'm tired of the ones. Okay, so that time we got three, th four threes and a two. So what is our four threes prompt? Three threes is sci-fi. Four threes is a standalone. I think I can make that work. So we're going to stop at two rolls and go with standalone. Then we got four threes, which is a standalone. And for this one, I'm going to do the incarnation of shadow and light. Again, this is the indie archive pick that I needed to read for this month. Look at me getting on two books that I needed to read this month. Who am I? So this one is a young adult standalone. I know it's set in a Victorian era. That scares the snot out of me, but we're going to try it. I'm hopeful for it. Um, the patrons did vote for this one, so I know that they are excited to read it as well. And it is quite short, so I think it'll be a good time. Okay, so hopefully the last roll, TBR Bluff roll number six. A four, a three, a six, a one, and a one. Oh my gosh, at those ones. So obviously we're going to have to re-roll the whole thing. Two, four, three, six, and five. That's like a straight, but I don't have any of those. Oh no! Okay, we're gonna roll one more time. At least we have that free space still. Three, three, two, one, one. Okay, so two threes and two ones. Two threes and two ones. Why can I not find that? So two threes and two ones is without the and a or of. Okay guys, so that is the board completed for TBR Bluff for May. The last roll was two threes and two ones and that was a book without the words the and a or of on the title and for this one I think I'm gonna go with Wonderland by Jilly Jennifer Hillier. Kaylee read this one not too long ago and I know absolutely loved it. It has recently gotten an audiobook and I do have the audiobook from NetGalley that I need to read and review. This is a theme park I think a, a creepy haunted some kind of theme park I know that there is a detective plot line to it I know that there's a little bit of mystery to go along with the horror I don't want to know a whole lot about this one I tend to try to go into my thrillers and mysteries a little bit more blind because the synopsis tend to give spoilers um, but I have heard good things about this one overall and I've read a, one Jennifer Hillier that I really liked Jar of Hearts and one that I didn't like so much and I forget the title of that one now but I do want to try another and we'll see if third time's the charm on that author. Well, I think that that's everything, guys. That is going to be my TBR bluff for the month of May. I, like I said, I will be doing a TBR or um, recommendations video probably combined for Smut Den, but that will be coming toward the end of the middle of the month. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Let me know down in the comments below what your most excited read for is for the month of May, and are you going to be participating in any of the readathons that I'm going to be participating in? If you're going to be doing Escape the Readathon, let me me know what team you're on. If you're going to be doing Smut Den, let me know what wheel you're be, you'll be spinning. I'll mostly be doing the Dark Wheel for the entire readathon. I'm so excited for May. It's going to be a great month. I feel like I don't have enough books to choose from, but I'm sure, I'm sure that more will come. Thank you guys so very much for watching. As always, links to my Patreon, Instagram, Twitter, and Goodreads are all in the description box down below. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you want to, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!